Did you know you can change the font color, boot image, and background image in all Anytone handhelds? One of the most exciting features about Anytone radios is compared to analog, is the ability to tailor your radio to your exact specifications. Hi, I'm Cody, W3AMG. Today, I'll navigate you through the screen customization settings for your Anytone HT. Let's first begin by opening up the CPS. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the computer here. So make sure your radio is turned on and plugged in. Uh, and then what we would do from there is click on the COM port settings, select the COM port, and then go ahead and read from the radio. Uh, now we have already done this, just read the other data, uh, but we're just gonna go straight into making this change. Uh, so first, open up optional settings. Uh, first, we're going to change the color of the display text. Then click on display. Now from here, there's a few different options we can change. Uh, so these are probably the most important, the uh, channel A and channel B. So that's gonna be up here and then down here, those A and B channels. We can change the text display color. So I'm going to make channel A green and then channel B, uh, we will make that Let's see, we'll make that red. And then we have some more options down here. There is a call sign display color. Um, with the radio turned off, I haven't been able to get that to show up. I believe what it is is like if you have an incoming call, uh, that will be that color. So I'm just gonna leave that for now, but I am going to change the uh, standby uh, character color. So this is basically all of the other text uh, besides the, the, the parrot. Uh, or, or channel A and channel B. So this is all the other text on the screen. So we, we're we gonna go with yellow. Uh, I probably would not actually change this for myself, but I just wanna demonstrate that it works. And there we go, so those are selected. So just go ahead and write to the radio. Just write the other data. And we'll see if it works. And there we go, check that out. So we have our green, red, and then yellow text. Uh, like I said, I probably wouldn't change that other text, uh, but you certainly can. So you can customize just about all of the text on this, this display, which is pretty neat. But there's actually a lot more you can do. You can change the images too. So we are going to do that next. First, we have to actually add the images. So let me explain how that works. Uh, so if we go to our computer, open up the file system here. So there's, uh, you can add two or three different images. You can have two for your uh, standby background. So basically the background here, two different images in the radio, obviously can only use one at a time. And then you can also have an image for your boot up screen. So when you turn it on, instead of displaying, you know, either any tone or if you set it to display your name and call sign, you can have it display your own custom image. So we have two different images here we're going to test out. The requirements for these uh, they need to be, if we open up the properties, just to demonstrate this to you. We can see this is a BMP file. And if you go over details, the width is 160 pixels, the height is 128 pixels. So you can, there's two different types of files, either BMP, or I believe that stands for bitmap, and then JPEG files. Uh, those are the only two that actually work with this. And you need to make sure there are those dimensions, the 160 by 128. Otherwise, uh, it will accept them, but they will look uh, very squished and out of shape. Uh, so we have these two different images, and we're going to open up the software again here. Then go to Tool up in the top menu bar. Then click on, we're just going to uh, import one of them for the, the background. So standby background picture one and open image. So from here, we can select our folder and I wanna select this as a background. You can find some of these on the internet. They have all kinds of cool backgrounds um, like this one. There we go, picture okay. So then you would simply write this to the radio it's kind of weird how this works because we can't actually see it yet till we turn it on later, but that's been written to the radio. Now we are going to go up here and go to the boot image. So open image, and I'm gonna make our Bridgecom logo, our boot image here, but like I said, you can do anything you'd like. There we go, right. Write that to the radio as well. 
And now we need to go back in our optional settings, go to display again, and just for the sake of demonstrating this, I'm going to turn all of these colors back to white so we can really look at our uh, backgrounds that we just did. And then change your standby BK picture, that's your background, to the custom one. That's where we added that image. Like I said, it will store two, but you can only use one at a time. And then we also want to go over here to power on. I know they put this in two different places and then change from custom char or custom character to custom picture. Then go ahead and say OK. And then we're going to write this to the radio again. There we go. We have the logo there. It fits perfectly on the screen. It's not squished. And you can use, the, oh, and that, check that out. How cool is that? We have that custom image there. It got the menu bar up top. Uh, and and you, can, you can do almost anything. You can have images like this. You can have a picture of your dog, you know, a picture of a sunset that you took, literally anything. I've seen people do all kinds of different images. Uh, the only requirement is they fit that size. So if you don't know how to do that, you can download. If you have Photoshop, you can use it. There's a lot of free programs like GIMP and Paint.net. Uh, that allow you to resize images. With that final setting adjustment, your radio should now have all the custom settings that you desire. To quickly find out how to update your radio software, click the link down below where we'll walk you through the steps to upgrading your radio's firmware and CPS. As always, thanks again for watching 7.3.